Hey guys, I'm Josh B Gaming and welcome. I would say to a new let's play, but I've had this on my channel before. But I got to a part, I got so far in the game, and then it decided to corrupt my game file, which has happened a lot during let's plays for me. And with me being an idiot, I didn't have like a second backup. I didn't save twice, so. I, if I wanted to continue the let's play, I'd have to play through the whole game again off screen just to get back to where I was. And I was so pissed off, I deleted the videos off my channel. And then that led to me not being able to uh, continue the let's play anyway. So, we're starting this again. I've had time to calm myself down over it. I've had time to prepare myself properly. I'm going to do it again well, previously on Dead Space. I'm going to let you watch that and then we will kick off this let's play again. In the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten. The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Or so I thought. It did not bring salvation. It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis-7 came with them. <laughs> Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. Also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. Well, that looks creepy. Again, casual is the way forward for me on Dead Space. I'm going to be 
Yeah, I'll leave that as it is. I don't know what's going on. So apparently we're three years into the future. Not into the future. We're th it's three years after Dead Space. You survived, but your mind didn't. <laughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> I would say I have no idea, but I do have an idea of sort of things that happen, but I've totally forgot completely, like jump scares and stuff, so... That stuff's gonna be here still, thank god for that. Now, I have done Dead Space on my channel, I've, I'll link it in the description of the playlist to the first Dead Space that I did, and I will more than likely be doing... more than likely be doing the... third Dead Space. I don't know, I don't know why that took so long to think of, but I think, yeah. Look at the time difference. I'll call you back later. It's okay. I also need to put subtitles on, so I'll quickly put them on. Da 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 on. Da 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 on. Oh shit. Right, right, there we go. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what, we must be getting out of range there, Mike. Like. Oh dear. Oh. Edgar's Foster. Isaac! Hello, Edgar. You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I need to turn my game I believe off. you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. There we go. About your dead girlfriend. That was pretty what loud. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. Hello, Nicole. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. That's a weird looking I Rubik's you. Cube. I always loved you. got a little Ishimura ship on his desk. Nicole <laughs> Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard so a So he's got an Ishimura. Toy ship, the Rubik's cube that yes. looks unsolvable. He smokes. He's got pills, and he's got a hot cup of joe. What a desk! You I love that desk. That's a reason. Mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? Everything. I found something. There, you found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Do you mark Did you have or? contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, I That's creepy as fuck, dude. Nope. Isaac. <clears throat> nope. Isaac, no! Creepy as fuck. <coughs> Holy crap. Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Hello? Dana, I found Isaac Clark. We Hello? Need to have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straight jacket. Yes, please. Why am I in a straight jacket well, anyway? Alright, I, I know you're confused right now. But I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? I don't know why I'm in a straight jacket in the first place. Oh! I forgot about that, what the fuck? Nope, nope. Gross as fuck. <clears throat> Total makeover, I guess. What's the fuck? Um. Oh, no, fuck that. Nope, fuck that. <clears throat> fuck that. Fuck that. Hey, bro. Hey, dude. Nope, no, fuck that. You know what? Fuck everything. I'm just gonna press hold, LB. Nope, where the fuck did I go? Ah! Shit, I've totally forgot. I think I'll go left, right, left, right. Ah! Fuck off. Don't you dare. Oh, I knew you fucking would, you little squat. Let me mash it. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh. You made a good doorstop. Apparently so. <laughs> Chapter 1. Okay, let's start this horrible journey again. I'm not saving it yet. 
Oh, I'm almost dead already. Uh, don't take me down. Oh. It's also weird. I'm recording with a new mic. <coughs> it's not like it's not a like a mic. And normally, what I get is like a gaming headset with a good mic. Oh, he's been hollowed out. He is now holy. It's like a get. I normally get like gaming headsets. Like I used to have a Turtle Beach P11 headset, which um, <coughs> I like the mic on it, but like after a few months, it started to make like a clicking noise, even though the the mic wasn't moving. And it it was really 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 weird, but now I've got like I can't remember it's like a lava lava lavalier I I don't know the Reese Wirel he mentioned it he's got one and he really like he couldn't say more good things about it and I thought I'd give it a try because it's not like it's like a clip on mic it's not a headset which I guess. It's probably a good thing, as it's just dedicated for sound, for recording sound, so I assume it's going to be good. I've done little tests of it, but I'm still trying to get the right settings in order to see, so for a few weeks or so, I may have, my sound may change, like levels, my actual voice may change a bit, I don't know. I knew you we were going to do that. <coughs> I remember what happened here, it's freaking weird. So yeah, I've got it, like, I've got the, the, the microphone clipped underneath my, like, on the top of my t-shirt, so... <coughs> Just cut me up my straight jacket, pal. Oh! Oh, he cut me out of the straight jacket, thank God for that. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. Is that Take Edgar Foster? Easy. He's the dude I was talking to at the start. Edgar Foster. Is red. It's red. Okay. <clears throat> bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. He's the dude I was talking to at the start, like I was getting therapy from. And now he's absolutely fucking mental. Why? Why? Isaac, Edgar. We're all Is it definitely Edgar? I'm did. pretty sure. Yeah. No, no. Ah! Okay, so that just happened. I'm absolutely sure that's the dude that. We were getting therapy from at the start. <coughs> yes, it is. So I can't zoom in and watch at the same time. Okay. Let's run. Hey, oh, that was just a. I thought that was the lift in there. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. That's a good point. That's right. I'm trying. I'm picking up back the controls. I'm picking the controls back up. Click and hold. It's like a locate. Well, it says it's a locator. It sends. You it shows you what your nearest objective is. Okay, this looks creepy as fuck. I'm taking it slow this time. Oh, we have pizza. Is that pizza? No, it's a board game. <clears throat> okay. I'm pretty sure that a TV blasts on it any second now. Or a radio or something. There it is. Oh, it shit me up the first time. It, it, a game called Outlast, it does exactly the same thing. You walk into a dark room and then the TV blasts on. And it's like, bro, that's not very nice. <laughs> 